Hello, my name is Brenda Orosetti and I teach nursing for York University. We have a series of videos that are for the purpose of teaching our nursing students about various roles. Once they get their career started and established, they might want to consider uh, working in some of these roles. So I'm here with a colleague and a friend, Mandy Chan, who works as a correctional nurse out in Milton. Thank you for coming, Mandy, and for talking to our nursing students today about your role and experiences and the qualifications of a correctional nurse. Take it away. All right. Um, hi, I work. I work at Crush, um, at Maplehurst Correctional Complex. I've been employed there for almost two years now, and I left the ICU about or close to two years ago. Um, and I love. I love where I work right now. Um, I'm under the union called OPSU, so I did pay, get take, um, and I am under a different union from ONA, which is the level of pay may be a little different. Um, so I'm here to tell you a little bit about my role, my responsibilities and qualifications at the facility. Um, so Maplehurst is known in Ontario as one of the largest maximum security prisons. And we, for me, um, healthcare services are offered 24-7 and nurses are there rotating shifts all the time. Now, some of the roles, um, like my role is to use my knowledge and skills to provide patient-centered care to inmates. I am required to conduct health assessments for the purposes of triage and ongoing care. We monitor adherence to treatment plans and their response to health care interventions. We liaise with community care providers to obtain health histories and to f facilitate transitional care at discharge. There is an, an outpatient team called the ACT team. It stands for a sort of community, a community treatment team and they provide rehabilitation, support services, and treatment care to clients with mental illnesses and complex needs. We are required to advocate and encourage patient participation in plan of care. Many of our inmates have mental health issues and having that experience will assist you with building their care plan. Uh, responsibilities within the facility, uh, we house up to 1,500 inmates. That is a lot of people that you have to care for. I think on a day shift, we're, there are 12 to 15 nurses, and on night shifts, there are three nurses. Um, there are multiple units that they are housed. Each unit will have a board where we take care of our insulin-dependent diabetics. Um, each week we are required to take care, to check blood pressure for some of them that are ordered blood pressure checks, uh, physiotherapy care. We offer a methadone maintenance program and we prepare and run clinics for doctors. Unit 1 is the segregation and protective custody unit. Uh, there are huge mental illness requirements and we work closely with psych psychiatrists. Unit 10 is a medical unit. We look after un uh, inmates that come into our facility with medical issues, say if they came in with a cast from a broken leg or they had motor vehicle accidents, um, needing a wheelchair, uh, they are housed over there. Uh, unit, units 8, 9, and 11 are general population inmates and each unit will house between two to three hundred inmates. Unit six is the sentence unit, and I think their capacity will be about 50. And they, if inmates are sentenced two years less than a day, they, they, are, they live up on unit six and required to work. So they could work in the kitchen, they could work in the laundry. Uh, the infirmary is a, like a mini hospital unit, Inmates that require IV antibiotics, uh, if they have pick lines from, from where they came from, we take care of that. Or if they have really large wounds, say uh, an ulcer, uh, we take care of them over there. Um, there is an admitting and discharge unit where nurses are required to do a mini health assessment, um, give them a TB skin test, or 
if they have medication that they take on the outside, prescribed meds, we call their home pharmacy and get them confirmed and then get them ordered under our facility by our doctors. A mental oh, and that's where our chart, the chart is made for the inmate and wherever they are housed, those charts follow them. So that's where the, our documentation um, and our care plan will be, will be um, with the inmate. Uh, the mental health nurse role, um, the nurse will liaise with the community regarding the inmate and they work closely with the psychiatrist to have their, implement their plan of care to make sure that they're going to be okay when they, when they are discharged and go back to the community and then they liaise with the ACT team which I mentioned earlier. Um, so wherever you are assigned to that day, that's your responsibility and that it will be your post and daily routines will vary from unit to unit. Qualifications. Now, if you have the ability to prioritize, prioritize effectively in a fast-paced and complex environment, that's the place for you. Um, we also work alongside with correctional officers. And you're, you're not just ca taking care of your 12 hours. You also have to be mindful of what they have to do, their roles and their responsibilities on their post. So a community communication with the officers is pertinent um, because if say 1330 comes and you have to give the methadone treatments to your inmates but something is missing, say a spoon, then the whole institution will be locked down because the officers are required to do a search. So that will throw off your whole day and Again, you have to talk with the doctors to make sure that everything gets done in your 12 hours along with whatever they have to do in their 12 hours. Um, your ability to respond effectively in emergency and unpredictable situations and implement interventions. Um, code blues do happen quite frequently in our facility and all nurses are required to drop whatever they're doing from their post to come and respond to the code. Uh, we get anything from fights, we, suicides, seizure to, uh, seizures, and cardiac arrests. We interpret and evaluate information obtained from patients, uh, identifying the health problems and drawing conclusions to develop a plan of care. Doctors are not on site. We do not have, but we do have on-call doctors, but we try to provide a treatment under the scope of the facility. We do have medical directives under Maplehurst Correctional Complex. Um, we can implement that treatment and then reassess. And if they require further care and cannot, um, and cannot do that, say if we need to do an x-ray or ultrasound, then we send them out to the hospital. Uh, we evaluate responses to plan interventions and modify the plan of care in collaboration with the interprofessional team and achieve established goals. Uh, I have a great deal of autonomy when I'm there. I communicate with the inmates and try to have them adhere to the plan so they have a routine set in place while they're while they're with us. And that's sort of correctional nursing in a nutshell.